Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Cash, and I'm excited to talk to you today about the Autorec platform and also provide a quick demonstration to show you what a potential Autorec solution can look like for you. First of all, what is Autorec? So Autorec is a highly flexible, rules-driven data management and controls platform, which has reconciliations and automation at its core. Our clients range from across a variety of sectors like insurance, asset management, banking, and payments. To summarize some of the benefits of the, the solution that our clients experience, I could say um, uh, essentially a, a significant reduction in cost through automation of otherwise manual and intricate business processes, an increase in control of your data through an increased tra transparency of uh, and audit of, uh, of your data so you can see and track everything that's happened to your data throughout its lifespan within the system. And also that essentially leads on to an increased ability to uh, demonstrate co uh, compliance with financial regulation. Um, so please come talk to uh, some of the guys at the team for, for more information on that. Um, so with that, I'll dive into the demo, uh, if I can, uh, just to, oh, here we go. Okay, so um, to begin with, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through a typical solution, uh, a reconciliation solution for a, for a bank. So you can say it's a, it's a bank reconciliation solution where we're reconciling data from an internal GL system to data that we receive from an external bank. Now that data could be in any format, in any source. Autor has the experience of, of dealing with data of any type. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the solution as a essentially a, a, a typical uh, reconciler type end user of the solution, and I'll walk through a some, somewhat of a, a day in the life of of using the platform. So um, before I talk about what you see on the screen behind the scene, the automation part of the solution will have already have taken place. So my data would have been sourced, loaded into Autorec, any enrichment type processes that have been configured will have taken place. That, um, that could be you know, FX conversions, static uh, lookup tables, et cetera. Um, and those enriched versions of those records would then be moved into the relevant parts of the, of the reconciliations into the relevant sides of the rec, where then my automated rules would take place for example, my automated match rules and uh, advanced calculation rules and, and label rules. Label rules essentially allow Autorec to identify issues or break categories within the data and automatically apply those labels to those so that then further action can be taken, taken on, on that data. And then taking that one step further, um, once the, any break type categories have been identified, the Autorec can, using its powerful workflow uh, facility, generate a case and ensure that the transactions that are set within a particular problem area or a, or a break category are assigned to the relevant team with the relevant MI output and report, uh, export, etc. also accompanying, uh, accompanying that information. So it's essentially automate the full input process output of a, of a reconciliation type solution. So as a user logging into the system, the first thing I'm presented with is the Autorec homepage. The homepage essentially consists of our dashboards. Dashboards, some, uh, the same as the, everything else in the solution, is completely configurable from the front end. So as a user, you're able to define who sees what depending on, on, what, on who's logging into the system. So, um, as a uh, so, if I just start from the, from the top, um, what I'm what I'm seeing here uh, is my I'm looking at my bank to ledger summary. So the dashboard essentially provides three main three main points. Number one is to provide me a quick snapshot snapshot view of what is the current status of my reconciliations right now. Help highlight any urgent issues, any high priority items, maybe a particular account where the matching is exceptionally poor those can be highlighted to me. And lastly is the ability to drill through into the data. So the dashboards are interactive. You have the ability to, from here, click on any piece of the MI and Autorec will take you into the actual reconciliation into uh, view all the, the transaction level detail that sits behind that piece of MI. And then from there, you're able to perform further actions. 
So if I just walk through this from the top, I can see here that um, on this day, I had two data feeds that loaded. Um, my entire set, uh, schedule with all of the, the matching, ex everything ran successfully within eight seconds. Uh, I, on this day, I loaded in uh, 1077 records on the bank side and some transactions on the ledger side. I can see the match rates on this day where I have 94, 97% successful match rates. And then from there, I can see I still have some uh, outstanding items. And then the remaining charts below essentially provide me details into what those breaks categorize into and also help highlight any urgent, urgent issues that, are, that it may be. I can also see here that a new case has also been created for today. And I can dive into the detail of any of these through, uh, via some of my other dashboards that you see at the top where I have a, a dedicated case management dashboard, which lets me see all of the cases that are currently out, outstanding. And also looking at the, the data side of things, the operational overview dashboard that lets me see that, that everything is running smoothly on, on, in the system. So from here, I'm able to um, essentially go in. Um, if I, if I, uh, so if I, as a user, I'm, I'm looking at this and seeing if there's any urgent issues that I need to dive into. There's one that was worth talking about here is breaks by label. So this is where Autorec has identified the different break categories uh, and also show me what some of the transactions that sit within. If I click on one of my break categories here, this is showing me where items where it has found a match between the bank and the ledger. However, due to the mismatch in the amount, they're, they're, they're essentially uh, tagged with a, with a mismatch. So if I uh, you can see here, if I quickly select a smart filter, I'm able to toggle through the data and click on an item at the top, and it will essentially show me the, the associated item on the bottom. And I can see here the reference information lines up. However, there is a mismatch in, uh, uh, within the amounts, which is causing these to be a break. Um, so thank you very much. Um, that's essentially my time. Um, I'd love to, obviously, that's obviously the tip of the iceberg. I've got so much more I'd like to talk about, but please come and talk to us at the stand, and I can give you a lot more information on how we essentially automate the full reconciliation process from start to finish. Thank you very much.